a medium to more coarse kind of wool, a spindle from hardware store materials, a dowel, and a drawer pull that has had a hold rolled through the center so that you can stick the dowel all the way through. You can tear off just a small piece of it and uh, simply start to twist it to get it started. <clears throat> And this doesn't need to be super even, super well twisted, super coordinated or anything, because it's <clears throat> just your leader yarn, which you will use for attaching stuff to the spindle in the first place. I keep it under tension, wrapping it up on my fingers. That controls it, keeps twist from escaping, and uh, makes it easy for me to put a couple half hitches on the end of the spindle in order to get the yarn attached. Now, I'm going to just give it a spin, real tight there. This has a whole lot of twist built up in it. It's going to travel out the leader more. Yarn, very, very twisty. You can see it kinking up on itself. I'll get this uh, in front of my black shirt to see if that can make it more visible. Okay. Now, as you uh, at let more fiber come in, the twist is going to travel right out that fiber. So now, it's less twisty right in this very beginning part because it moved right out into the fiber that you haven't spun yet that you added on. Now I just slide the half hitches down lower down on the spindle and wrap around come up changing the angle just a bit secure with a half hitch start spinning again now that was all we had for the leader that we pulled off so let's grab some more same thing of fiber not a particularly fabulous fiber. This is a commercial top, sort of medium grade wool. You can pull a little bit off to the side. Now I've got this sort of smaller chunk of it here. You could pre-draft it by attenuating it out, pulling it like that, and wrap it around your wrist to hold on to it. So now, get twist going, get it moving out into your leader yarn that's there. You've overlaid that fiber that you attenuated. You're pulling it out. I'm pulling it out. I'm pulling it out. Pulling it apart a little bit while, it, while the twist moves through. You keep a half an eye on your spindle so that you can see if it slows down or starts to spin the other way. I'll hold on just a second and I'll pull that up closer to show. This spindle is very light, kind of center weighted. This is a downside to the dowel and drawer pull uh, spindle is it does not uh, really allow for terrific spinning right at the very start of it. you got to get a little bit of fiber onto it before it spins as well as it can. Uh, toy wheels work better, or if you can find a drawer pull that isn't quite so bulbous here, uh, that also works better. This particular one was suboptimal. I mean, it works. It does the trick. You don't have to have anything fancy. So let's try getting a good view of what it looks like when it backspins. Okay, here it is forward spinning. Let's see what I can do to get a longer length, hold this up over my head, and be able to show you. Okay. Alright, see it stopped. Now it's going back the other way. And when it does that, and it does it enough, 
our yarn is going to lose structural integrity. <laughs> now this isn't a problem. It's not a problem. It is a normal enough thing that happens when you're spinning. But that's what you want to be vigilant against. So see here I am. I've got this place where it broke and this yarn that's the leader. I'm giving it a spin. Putting the leader the, the, broke, the leader together with the broken piece with an overlay and moving back up. Now I'll change angles. Okay, now let me try changing my angle. This is a short draw. The weight of the spindle helps with the drafting some. Okay, get the spindle started with a flick. Got it? A flick. Now, that's going to let twist pile up right in this short leadery part here. Whole lot of twist. You can actually hold on to the spindle and draft out a bit of fiber and let that twist come right up into it. And that's what people refer to as park and draft. Where they stop the spindle's rotation and let twist travel through it. Now, I find park and draft to be slow, uh, but as a learning technique, it is very good because it does allow you to understand that you are operating with the twist and that the twist is not uh, written in stone until such time as you're ready for it to be. This is a quick and easy way to walk that up your hands. Trying to show a number of angles on this. And it just feeds off. Okay. So, draft out, I like to draft out a little bit using the twist that's already there in the leader. Give it a flick get going. 